Now I need you now, God, to hot cookie and show yourself through me, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. God, even let the smallest child understand the word that you give me to give to your people. Now, Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. It is in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. First, I do give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to the angels of this house. Amen. Pastor and First Lady Damon Hodges. To all the other pastors and First Ladies and ministers and friends. To the greatest pastor in the 757, yeah. Pastor yeah. Justin. Yeah. Yeah. And to the Zion Word family, thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. Now, the Lord has given me a word to give to his people. Feed me, Lady Lamb. Women of this hour. Yeah. Now, normally... Zyra knows that I like to tell stories out of the Bible. That's all right. And to tell you about certain people out of the Bible, but this time the Lord didn't leave me there. Right. He wanted to talk to about the women of this hour. All right, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had a question that he wanted me to ask you. Uh -huh. Now I have so many scriptures, so I don't have a main one, but if you just, just bear with me. I have a whole bunch of scriptures for you before by the time I sit down. <laughs> but the question that God wanted me to ask you was, what is going on in your life today uh -huh. that's stopping you from seeking his face? Uh, what is it? Ah. The what desire is it? to seek God's face is just not in church anymore. Now, I've been in church all of my life. So I've seen a lot of things happen in the church. Uh, yes. But one thing that attracted me uh, to the church was how the women in the church, in the church that I grew up in, came in with a desire or a hunger for God. Yeah. If they were upset or if they were mad about anything, before they got in the church, you didn't know. Because whatever they was going through, they didn't show it because they was expecting God to do something. I can remember after children's time, if you were to Campbell's Chapel, you had to have children's time. And they have what you call altar call. Where anybody could come to the altar and get on their knees and pray. And they and you could stay there until you felt the power of God move in you. They would have Saturday night prayer service where they would tear it all night long until they felt something happen. They had a hunger and a thirst for God. I can even remember going to people's houses that were sick unto death. Right. Folks sick with cancer and folks who are about to get evicted out of their homes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the women or the people of God would go to these folk houses and begin to pray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And tarry until things began to change. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The cancer drying up in folks' bodies and yeah. right. when the doctors don't understand what has happened. Yeah. Folks that were getting evicted into their getting evicted out of their houses were moving to bigger houses. Yeah. All because the women were seeking God's faith. Yeah. Second Chronicles 7 and 14 says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall offer themselves and pray and seek my faith, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. But now, we have the new 2013 model of women where seeking God's face is not an option. You go through pure hell at home and at work, but do not desire to seek God's face. I've never seen so many saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, and fire baptized women that allow the devil to have a field day in their life every single day. What has stopped you from seeking God's face and being complacent where you are? I believe, and this is just me, my opinion, I believe friends in your life 
Set the record straight. Have caused you to be complacent. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Instead of you being a leader uh -huh. and showing them uh -huh. how to get closer to God, uh -huh. you follow them That's and forget it. all about God. Yes. You allow your marriage, your job, your children yes. to stop you from seeking his face. Oh, Some of you probably don't even remember the last time you went in your secret closet oh, and just had a talk with them. Yes. Some of you probably didn't even say your grace before you ate. Oh, knowing that he is the one that allows you to eat every oh, single day. Oh, yes. Yes. Not being humble mm. and seeking God's face will allow you to be walking around through life D-E-A-F distracted everybody has your attention but him emotionless no fear not even showing God that you are grateful for everything he does for you antisocial you don't even talk to him but expect him to work things out in your favor Followers of idol gods. You love your money, your car, your job, your children, your status, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your cat, and your dog. More than you love God. And anything you worship before him is your God. But if you seek him, yeah. there is a reward. I got that from my shepherd. Matthew 6 and 33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a Thank you. 